Because he's giving you more than enough time to make your peace. Uh, he's giving you more than enough time to get ready. He's giving you more than enough time to embrace this truth, the scriptures. He's giving you more than enough time to get your heart right with him. But the deal is that we will we turn our nose up at him as if he owe us something. But we'll look at him as like he's a nobody. We're talking about the creator. The creator of the universe. Sovereign God. You're talking about pro the provision God, the providential God. Yes, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm talking about how can you look your nose up at him? Yeah. You're going away from here. He's going to call your name on the road, but will you be ready? Because the righteous judgment is on its way. During the tribulation, there will be multitudes, one Christ, in, Re in Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 through 14, including the 144,000 Jewish witnesses who will preach his gospel. Revelation chapter 7, verses 1 through 8. So for the Jehovah Witnesses out there, come close. I need you Jehovah Witnesses to come close. Come close and pay attention. The 144,000 are his witnesses. They will be preaching the gospel in the tribulation period. Folk will be being saved then. Uh, now, if you want to call me a Jehovah Witness, I am a Jehovah Witness because I am a witness of Jehovah. I wait for the evening. I ain't talking about religion. I ain't talking about something you made up. I'm not talking about your schemes and your schisms. I'm talking about of the living God, the true and living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I wait for the amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm a Jehovah Witness. If you want to call me a witness of Jehovah. Yes, sir. Amen. But don't get it twisted. Here's the good news. But that time will be dominated. Not by belief, but by unbelief. Not by holiness, but by wickedness. Not by godliness, but by ungodliness. It will be epitomized by secularism and false religion. And I just spoke on that. Even, yeah, I just yeah. spoke on that. Yeah. Even as most of the world is today. Uh, but to immeasurable, worse, to a worse degree. Like the people of Noah's day, the generation of the tribulation will be warned and warned and warned again, but to be ready. Are you ready on the day I'm done? Can, you know, if I go into it any, any further, be ready. then yeah, be ready. I'm going into a part two. I'm done. Praise God. The question is, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? If, if, if I asked you right now, if I ask you a question, I'm not going to ask you personally, but if I ask you a question right now, if Jesus Christ called your name on the road tonight, say for instance, when you go home and go to bed, and he called you, called you to himself, will you be ready? Do you know him in the bottom of your sins? Is he your Lord and Savior? Yes, yes. Not just a Savior, but is he your master? Yes. Is he your Lord? Is he yes. your sovereign? Yes. sovereign? Is he the authority of your yes. life? I can say unequivocally, yes, I can say it with confidence and with the stoutest of belief that Amen. I know that I'm going to heaven Amen. when I die. Amen. Actually, how can you say that? Amen. How can you be so confident? How can you be so bold? Because the Bible tells me so. Jesus died for my sins. Colossians will tell you, in Paul's writings to the church of Colossae, it will tell you that every sin that you will ever commit has been nailed to the cross. Past sin, justification. Yeah. Present yeah. sin, yeah. sanctification. Yeah. Future sin, yeah. glorification. Yeah. 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 It has been nailed to the cross. Yeah. So what are you worried about? Why can't you say you're going to heaven when oh, Jesus man. Christ Amen. atoned for your sin? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He took your guilty he took burden. Guilty. Yes, he, he took your guilt ain't no shame. Yeah. Yes. I'm free to say it. Yes. I'm free to say it because yes. I said I'm in the spirit. Galatians chapter yeah. 5 says I'm free. Yeah, I'm free. I'm free. 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 The spirit. free. Yeah. I can say it because free. I know. How do you know, Pastor? Because the Bible tells, it tells me so. Me so. I'm not listening to you. That's right. Tell me yeah. what I can do and what I can't do. Yeah. I'm not listening to that Oprah. Uh, Come on, I ain't listening to folk on TV, yeah. all these stupid TV shows. I'm not listening to Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil might make you feel good, but Jesus is my God. Jesus is my God. Jesus makes me feel good. I ain't listening to them stupid people. Especially if they don't know Jesus. 
today. Amen. I'm, I'm talking about, I ain't listening to no religions. Yeah. I'm not listening to the Mormons yeah. and the no. Jehovah's Witnesses no. and Islam nation. No. No. I'm not listening to that foolishness yeah. and yeah. theory and worldview and philosophy. Yeah. I'm not listening to it. That's yeah. right. You know what the Bible says about me? Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what it says about my Savior? He yeah. says that when I confess my sins, 1 John 1, 9 and 10, that he is righteous and he is just to forgive me of my sins. Now, that's all I have to do. I'm set free now. I'm set free. I don't have to worry about Satan trying to plant seeds in my head and make me feel bad about something I did because, well, guess what? Jesus took that sin. Y'all got to know the Bible, though. You got to know what the Bible says about you, Mike, because I know what it says about me. So I can say, without a doubt, no, I'm going to heaven. Oh, that I'm going to heaven. He's got a place prepared for me. He already told me I'm going to prepare a place for you. Yeah. If it wasn't so, I wouldn't have told you. Why? Because he's the truth. He told you. In my father's house, I got a place for you. It's so many. Many of both. You can pick and choose. Yeah. And so come on, stand to your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 